Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this fawn inspired look. Um, really, I just wanted to break out these horns. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. All right, before I begin, I'm gonna tell you where everything is from. Contacts are EOS Black from Pinky Paradise. This is a glass uh, septum tusk from Gorilla Glass. Um, these weights are from Mystic Metals. And these vegan jaw bones are from Mystery Creation. All right, I did my eyebrows ahead of time. I just kept with like the sort of basic shape I do most often using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and this e.l.f. waterproof mascara to set it in place. And then I carved out the shape of my eyebrow and lightly primed my lid with Alabaster by Mayron in this pressed white stargazer powder. So I'm thinking of using a lot of like rusty tones for my look today, so I'm mainly going to be using this Grivier Vomit palette. Um, I made this palette, if you haven't ever seen it before, I just opened it and so much crap fell out of it. There she is. Using the pink in the corner, I'm taking a fluffy Wet n Wild blending brush and I'm going to put that in the crease of my eye and up by my eyebrow. Then I'm taking this deep maroon from the bottom and the same brush and I'm gonna deepen the inner corner and outer corner. Then I'm taking the dark brown in the top corner, it's the same brush again, and doing the same thing. Then for underneath my eyes, I'm taking a mixture of the top two maroonish colors, <laughs> same brush, and I'm gonna apply that pretty heavily beneath the lower lash line. I'm keeping it kind of rounded in this corner here instead of swooping up and out so that my eyes have more of a round sunken shape rather than that sort of snatched look. Next, I'm finally taking another brush. This is a smudger brush from Coastal Sun. Picking up that same dark brown and I'm gonna go along my lower lash line with it. Then I'm just blending that out with the fluffy brush again. I'm taking Bulletproof by Sugar Pill and a denser eyeshadow brush from Coastal Sense. I'm just applying this in the inner and outer corner to really, really sink those areas in. Now I've got the pigment Groovy from Apocalyptic Beauty Cosmetics and I have their little mixing pod in the Cosmetic Alchemy Mixing Medium. What I'm gonna do is put a couple drops of this into the mixing pod with a little scoop of the eyeshadow. Make like a little paste with it and then I pick that up with a concealer brush and then I'm gonna carve out the shape of my lid with that. And then immediately I'm gonna take a clean eyeshadow brush, the same pigment, and put that on top to set it. My concealer brush is from Eco Tools, and the eyeshadow brush is from e.l.f. Usually after I carve out a crease like that, I just like to go back in with black or whatever I had put in the outer corner and then I kind of just fade over again. Alright, I'm going to finish off the eyeshadow portion of this look with a little bit of polished bone highlighter from Apocalypse Beauty. I'm going to take this on a clean pointed brush and add it to the inner corners. Real quick, I'm going to throw a little bit of liner onto my waterline. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Moving on to eyeliner, today I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And instead of doing a wing like I most commonly do, I'm going to just line it and skin it in a little bit more bluntly, again, so I'm not elongating the shape of the eye. I've got a teeny tiny tiny wing in the corner, and I'm also going to line my inner corners pretty much like usual, if not just a little bit longer than normal. And we're just blurring out that line a little bit with Bulletproof. Okay, next I am going in with NYX White Liquid Liner, and I'm going to pop this in the inner corners. So I try to do a little line there to kind of connect to the shape of my waterline. I'm going to apply a hearty helping of CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. I'm 
And then for the bottom lashes, I'm using CoverGirl Lash Black Amplify Primer. And I know that in this tube, I mixed in a little bit of Manic Panic Vampire White Liquid Foundation to make it more white. All right, now I'm going to wipe the fallout off my face and then I'm gonna do my foundation and I'm gonna come back. All right, so my foundation was this e.l.f. acne fighting foundation and I set it with this thing I need to repurchase pretty bad. It's just the cheapest e.l.f. pressed powder. And then for the high points on my face that are lighter, I use Stargazer white pressed powder. And to contour, I use the KVD Vegan Beauty Shave and Light Kit uh, Quad in Smoke. I use the taupe. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. I'm using Shy Succubus by Apocalyptic Beauty. And I'm putting that on a contour brush from Coastal Sense. I'm applying it kind of heavily and then going up around my eyes and also I'm going to put it on my nose. Now with that same brush, I'm going back into my Graveyard Vomit palette. I am taking the second color over from the bottom here. Same brush as a second ago, and I'm going to add just a little bit more pigment to where I just added blush. Now I'm going to focus a little bit more on the tip of my nose. So much makeup on this. Alright, Wet n Wild brush from before the fluffy one, and Bulletproof by Sugar Pill. Just tapping that on the end of my nose. I'm blending this with a contour brush. Next I'm going in with Snazzy Black Body Paint and a little lip brush. Adding water to the paint, of course, and then I'm gonna draw on the little nose. And I'm gonna continue the line down to my lip. So for my top lip, I'm using Alien by NYX Liquid Suede. I'm going to start off with the same brush from just a second ago. Line my lips and then fill it in, keeping the cupid's bow area quite pointy. And for my bottom lip, I'm using Artemis by Kate Around Beauty. Here's my life hack that's not really a life hack. When you do a top and bottom lip that are different colors, there's really no way, at least that I know of, to get them to not transfer. So I like to just kind of draw a line and make it look like it's on purpose. Now to highlight everywhere, I'm using Sugar Skull again on a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Coastal Scents. And here's that wig again that I need to look at the origin of. And I also have these ram horns that I made like with paper mache and ribbon and cardboard and stuff. Sometimes I like to just take the front piece of hair and put it in to the horn like that. So here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, of course, as always, leave down below any video ideas that you have, comments, concerns, likes, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.